Okay, so I'm going to try to finish up in this part three real quick, okay? Um, it's not going to be a good end if you want to put yourself under the law and be a slave like that. But we are children of God. We are not under the law. You know, how can the law say anything to us? It doesn't even make sense. We're his children now, okay? He's not under the law. God isn't under the law. You know, Jesus, when he came to the earth, he was born under the law to redeem those under the law. Under the law. But do you think God up in heaven, you know, is actually under some kind of law? No. Are you kidding me? He is the creator of everything. We are his children. Now he sent his spirit into our hearts and that's what guides us. Okay, I got a little bit off track there, but the point is we are sons now. Okay, now I want to basically summarize um, and sum it up with this last text in Galatians 4. And we're going to skip down to verse 21 through 26, it looks like. I have to kind of plan so I don't forget what I'm talking about. Okay. So in Galatians 4, 26, or excuse me, 21, it says, Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye not hear the law? And this is what I'm saying to the Torah people out there. This is addressed to you. Tell me, you who desire to be under the law, okay? You're desiring this, okay? Don't you hear the law? For it is written, verse 22, that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise. Which things are an allegory? For these are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, which is the old covenant, the law, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free which is the mother of us all. That's not the end of where I wanted to read. I'm going to keep going. For it is written, Rejoice, thou barren, that, that bearest not. Break forth and cry, thou that travailest not. For the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise, not of the bondwoman. The bondwoman had to do with the law. We are children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit, even so it is now. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Oop, sorry, I'm getting messages here. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son. For the son of the bondwoman, oops, I got to move my bubble. For the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. So these people who are trying to bring back law, they are literally fallen from grace. Like um, he also talks about in Galatians. Okay, Paul talks about. Uh, it's completely ridiculous. You have fallen from grace. You have forgotten your first love. Okay? It's not about you keeping the law. We are not children of the law. We're not children of the bondwoman. We are children of the free woman. Okay? And um, it's just crazy to me that this is exactly what we see happening these uh, these days with these groups, right? So I did want to say, just in summary, don't be surprised, uh, brothers and sisters, when um, those clinging to the law, they try to bind you with that law also. The Pharisees perse per persecuted excuse me, Jesus in the exact same way. That's literally what they did. They uh, persecuted Jesus, and now those who are of the law are trying to persecute the children of the free uh, woman, which is us, right? So remember, um, I want you to take away from this that the law is holy and just and good. But we can't keep it. We're not supposed to keep it. We aren't under law. But we're under grace, right? And um, so as believers, that law is not for us. So use it lawfully. Don't let these people try to be like, you need to keep the law if you're a Christian. <sighs> like, really? Okay, that's not what the Bible says. Use it lawfully. Lawfully says that it's for wicked people to bring them to Christ, to faith, and then they're not under it anymore. It's served its purpose. Okay. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments. I'll be happy to address any Bible verse that you think I'm ignoring or skating around because I am not um, going to do that. I'm not going to skate around verses. If you have one that you want addressed, go ahead and post it down there. I'll be happy to address it as well. Um, but remember, we are children of the free woman. We are not children of the bond woman. And honestly, it's a scary place to be, to be preaching the law, because this says that those who preach the law, they're children of the bond woman, and they're not going to inherit um, with the children of the free woman. They're going to be cast out. 